Hey guys, Christian Butzik here, Vancouver Realtor. Okay, today's topic is questions you can ask when you go to an open house. And the reason why I'm making this video is because I've been asked this by a couple of clients in the last month. They've said, Christian, when we go and you're not there, we don't know what to ask. And I actually have a whole bunch of questions that I ask and it's just because of my years of experience it it's second nature to me now but it's not to you and so i have a list and if you want the entire list send us an email below and i'm happy to share it with you but for this video what we're going to do is just focus on some of the key questions you're going to ask especially if you're looking at a townhouse or a condo all right so let's do that now, the very first thing you do is you obviously you break the ice if you meet the agent at the front door. And once you're going up the elevator, the first question I like to ask is, you know, how much interest are you getting in the unit? What's the feedback been like? And I leave that as a very open-ended question. I just want to see what the response will be like from the agent. And, you know, sometimes they'll say, oh, yeah, my phone's been ringing off the hook or sometimes you'll, you'll see that their body language or their voice kind of gets a bit quiet and that tells me they're, they're not getting that much interest. So I would start there. The next thing I like to ask is, you know, is there anything coming up in the building? What I mean by that is, is there any work coming up? Are they going through a window replacement project? Are they gonna be uh, changing the roof? You wanna know this because you're gonna have to pay for it. And you want to know when the timing is because if it's before the completion date then you, you know the seller would pay for it after the completion date it's on you so though you know you would just ask a series of follow-up questions but the question there I always ask is is there anything coming up in the building okay thirdly I like to ask how much is in the CRF so that's the strata savings account that's gonna tell us if they've got a little piggy bank of money there that they can dip into and that they can use to replace that roof, right? Or is it gonna be all through a special levy which is coming out of your pocket? So this one also shows whether or not the agent has really done their homework because a good seller's agent will have read through the strata documents before the open house and they'll have the answer like that on the top of, the, on the top of their mind. I certainly do uh, because you know it's obviously the buyers are going to want to know now other questions I ask would be on bylaw restrictions so I'll ask about pets or rental restrictions if you've got a pet this is gonna come naturally to you can ask am I allowed to have dogs or cats and how many uh, the other one would be for rental restrictions of course, if you're thinking about renting it out after you've lived there for several years, then you need to know what the restriction would be. Typically, if it's built after 2010-11, there is no restriction on the number of rentals. The most common we usually see these days is sort of a time restriction, like a six month minimum, a one year minimum, and so on. But ask that question. Here's another one to ask. Some people are allergic to dust and they don't like carpets and if you're looking at a wood frame ask whether or not the carpets can be replaced by hardwood flooring and some wood frame buildings that is not allowed because they you know you just if somebody's walking with their shoes or high heels upstairs you can hear it downstairs that's why they mandate that owners only have carpets in their bedrooms in some wood frame buildings. So ask that question if that's important to you. Water deductible. We all know the last year, year and a half, it's been in the news that condo insurance has been going up for the building as a whole and for you as individual owners. You wanna ask what the water deductible is. These days, a standard water deductible is at about $100,000. So, Anything above that, and you're probably paying uh, a higher monthly condo insurance and a higher maintenance fee, okay? About $100,000 is average. Noise, here's another one. I always recommend clients check for noise. Sometimes you go to the open house, they've got the music turned on. 
ask them to turn it off, open the window. You want to see what the traffic noise or the train noise sounds like outside. If you're comfortable with that, then you can go ahead with it, okay? Developments in the area. You know, I live downtown. There's probably about 11 or 12 buildings planned in this sort of Georgia, Alberni, West End corridor. So if you don't want to live next to a construction site, what you want to do is you want to point your finger out the window and ask the seller's agent if they know what's planned for that city block, okay? And most of the time, we, they'll have that information on hand because they've done the research. All right, moving along. A few other questions. If you're really keen on the unit, I usually ask, when are you looking at offers? Now you're probably going to get one of two responses. You're going to get, we're looking at offers at Monday at 6 p.m., a deadline, or first come, first serve. I personally, I always prefer the latter. You want to have a one-to-one -one negotiation with the seller. It's to your advantage as the buyer. If they're looking at offers at a deadline, well, you just have to work with that. And it may be a multiple offer situation. And you just what you do is you just work with your agent on that. It's a different situation. It can be a little bit intense, but you can make it. We've, we, we've done it many times before. Storage. Parking, very important. If you're on, on site, if you like the unit, ask to see the parking and the storage right then and there. You've got to see it. Sometimes the parking might be, you've got a big van and it's for a small car. You got to see that parking stall, okay? And the storage locker, same thing. You got ski, you, well, maybe not skis, but snowboards and winter gear. You want to see if you can get it all in your storage locker. And then I like to ask, occasionally, and this one you gotta do a little delicately, is why is the seller selling? It's, you know, they've done such a nice renovation, why is the seller selling? I like to, you've gotta be delicate how you ask that question. The seller's agent doesn't need to answer it, okay? Uh, but if you ask in a nice way, I've found, in a diplomatic way, I've found that you can get an answer to it. So it's nice to know, you know, most of the time they'll they'll just you know tell you oh the seller's upsizing and that's usually the truth they no one wants to give you bad news like the seller's getting a divorce or something like that um, but it's it's normally for, typically four out of five times it's because they're they're moving up because they've got kids they need more space and then i'll just ask you know what else do i need to know because there may be something else i haven't considered we, we can't know everything about the, 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 the home that you're visiting, right? The townhouse, the condo. So you want to ask, and typically the agent might say, oh, you know what? Actually, there's an annual general meeting coming up, and they're thinking about um, removing the restriction on rentals. Well, that would be really important to know, right? It's, you know, it, it, could make a, it could open the unit up for you, right? It could become a potential unit you might consider if down the road if, if they pass that bylaw in two weeks. So these are the kinds of questions you might ask. If you want a full list of the questions, send us an email. We'll send it to you. Hope that helps. Have a great day. Best.